golden, or excuse me, a uh, floating eye. Nothing too dangerous on the screen right now. Just kind of got to keep crushing things. Do we have condenser vein again? No, but we can trimmer stones real quick. Get some kills and maybe activate the condenser vein. Because this is experience gated, I'm actually going to copy this gentleman real quick. Oh shit. Okay, the entropy weaver is a big deal. We're going to try to kill him fast. Okay, never mind, he shapeshifted again. I was hoping that we could have the Freezing Wraith maybe uh, slow some people. I don't think that's going to happen. Let's make Box of Beasts. Okay. Okie dokie. Goliath Frogs. Eh. Okay, it's hallway time, baby. Or shall I say corner time. Priest. The priest needs to die before any of this stuff. Stay out of line of sight of the Convoker so that he can't summon on me. I forgot to trap a Convoker, but I don't need to do that trick, I don't think. You know, the one where you lure him to Zot. Still functional, but not really necessary. I mean, I guess it's technically optimal still because of clowns, and I probably should do it. Um, but now that I can blink out of trouble, the absolute worst confluence of RNG would have to happen for me to uh, insta-die in Zot5. And even with the, uh, honestly, even, even with the Convoker, you could still have that problem, uh, because as soon as you go down, you could get teleported into a lung and then insta-killed. Proper send-off for the streak it would be. No, uh, Man Man already told me exactly how my streak was going to die. Hey, Man Man, if you're still in the chat, could you link that wonderful Reddit post that somebody made where he was talking about how he turned a corner and took like 100 damage on D5 or something from Acid Wand? Acid Wand Knolls. Okay, cool. I don't know if it was two Knolls with Acid Wands or if it was just one that somehow got random energy and acted twice, although I, I didn't think that was possible. Um... It may have happened. Or maybe he stepped away and it got at random energy and fired again. Like he did the right thing and stepped away from it from full line of sight and it still blasted him. Ah, okay. Oh, okay, okay. So he got... He basically got chase speeded. Uh, what happens in the... Didn't you lose a real-time speed run once? Because you were trying to do Che and you took like like six hellfires from a hell sentinel on the orb run. Which is essentially highway robbery because I think I think the exit was in range or something. Shafted into a room surrounded by them. Yeah they coat they put like a special thing in the game. If username equals Malcolm Rose on D1 you take a step, get shafted into like a firing line of six nulls with acid uh, acid wands. Anyway, we have cleared this floor sufficiently that I should be able to O-tab my way to success here. The Buckler of Action! No, oh, thank you. Alright, so what do we, uh, what do we think about my magnificent return to streaking? Is my, is my power still here? Do I remember how to play? It seems like I do. Never walk around a corner and crawl. I actually DM'd that guy. I was like, hey, I'd love to I'd love to reply and let you know exactly how right you are, but unfortunately they banned me for criticizing them too many times. But he sure is right to complain about that. I mean it is it is a dumbass mechanic that they have simply refused to fix. Who's feeding Yermac? Hey Dennis, how you doing man? Good to see you in the stream, bro. Who is feeding Yermac?
Uh, no, Ragardishi. By the time you run into Death Yaks, um, you are powerful enough to either kill them or to simply... You can just walk away from them is the thing. They're the same speed as you, so there's very rarely a situation where you would be forced to fight a Death Yak, or five, or ten, or a hundred. Um, the problem is that when you run into something like uh, a Knoll on like D2 or D3, rather, I guess it would have to be D3 minimum, um, is that uh, if he has an Acid Wand, then he's doing more damage than you have HP, potentially. And he's doing it at range, so you turn the corner and you just die instantly. Whereas I run into a Death Yak. Let's take a look at Death Yaks. Let's look him up. So, you know, he's spooky enough. He's got good HP, 75 AC of two pips. That's decent by the time you run into him, and he does 30 damage, which is a lot. But show me the character that doesn't have at least 30 HP by the time he runs into Death Yaks. If you turn the corner, and, and let's say it's a real corner where he's right there waiting for you, and he takes a little chomp out of your ass, at most, the most damage he's doing is 30. Compared to an Acid Wand, which will do, what, like, I think 41 or maybe even 50 maximum? I, I'm not sure. Um, but the other thing is that this guy shows up way later than the Acid Wand can. Think about your average character and what level he's at and how much HP he has by the time he's on D3, which is as early as uh, as the uh, Acid, you know, can show up. He doesn't have 30. He doesn't have... He probably doesn't even have 30 HP, depending on what it is, let alone 40 to 50. Uh, no, there's no such thing as a critical attack in DCSS. He, he can do double damage if you are asleep, I guess, uh, but that's a pretty rare happenstance. There would have to be... Um, Dream Sheep around. Let's pick up the Enchant Armor. Uh, we just got Acquirement. Let's use it. Oh, we got we got cucked. We got cucked on the gold. I guess I'll probably just take the gloves just to have plus two gloves. Dungeon Crawl Original. I don't know what you mean by that. Was there ever critical strikes in any version of DCSS? I mean, there could be. I'm not. I'm not denying that you're. Uh, I guess they nerfed some stuff. Yeah, I don't remember there ever being crits, but maybe like a really long time ago. Maybe predates me. A Nemelex choice. Uh, this. Oh, this character. Yeah, this. Uh, Palantonga Wanderer is a Nemelex choice. I don't know. Uh, Oh, that guy left. Uh, he didn't seem to want to come to the stream for some reason. In choice, uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. I think I just, if I type in choice, it'll show it. Time for a new in choice. What about if I type in pawn? Oh, yeah, okay. It's not an MLX choice anymore. If there's eight wins, then. Yeah, so I got cocked out of the MLX po uh, choice points. That's fine, though. No big deal. Look at all these haste potions I get to buy. I'm a very slow player, unfortunately. Um, and I'm certainly not going to speed up or try to play quickly at all, really, um, if I'm playing my world record streak. Oh, is it? Does it go to 13 for clan instead of just 8? <laughs> you would control Q. This is my world record streak, though, Dennis. This is... Uh, yeah, I'm not control queuing. <laughs> I get you, though. Separate eight for clan. Oh, I see. Where's that listed? Huh. Six clan, I see. Well, no one else is playing it, so I guess I'll pick one up for the clan. I'm not playing for individual anyway, so I'm literally only playing the tournament to help out the, uh, the team. Somebody else played... Palantonga Wanderer? I said something in the Discord. Nobody nobody answered me. I was like, hey, has anybody played this combo? We have spent a ton of money on potions and stuff. Sometimes Vaults 5 just kind of spawns a billion shops. Not always, but sometimes. And it's really cool when you're a Gozag guy. you just buy it all, you know? All the good stuff, all the consumables. Not bad, not bad. You're beating Yermak? Bro, I hope you, uh, I hope you've learned to live without sleep and, uh, food and water. 
if you want to defeat the, the unliving vampire that is Yermak. To acquirement, let's use the acquirement. Um, well, that's more than what I paid for it. That ring is kind of cool, but we don't really need it. Um, I think I'd rather have the gold. Just gonna take the gold, probably. Uh, yeah. Requirement. I guess we're just playing the lottery, I guess. Why not just share an account? I'm pretty sure that would be breaking the rules, the spirit of the rules. I have sometimes guessed that maybe Yermak does that, but it is a little bit dubious. You would need to have... It's dubious because you'd have to have multiple guys with similar skill levels running the same account. And how many dudes... You know, you can pretty much name on one hand the number of dudes that are, like, well and truly uh, just amazing at crawl. There's 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 Dentist here. There's Man Man. There's Yermak. Um, I would put myself among that number, I would hope, since I have the streak. Um, and there's, like, a couple more guys. But, like, for two of those dudes to be... To share one account and nobody knows about it? I, I don't know. It could happen, I guess. Maybe he has like a little brother that he trained. Hey, we have seven potions of haste. Should I, for the for the purpose of memes and not for the purpose of being optimal, give seven potions of haste to the trove? It's not the right thing to do. Haste is uh, is just like, it's like gold in real life. You don't want to get rid of it, you know? Um... His little brother is his TCS as slave. What a horrible fate. It seems you've met with a horrible fate. Can't think of a worse fate than that, really. Okay, let's, uh... Screw it, let's just win this game. Come on. Oh, unless you're a pharmacist, but I don't... I don't think it would let you have that as uh, as the offered um, the offered sacrifice for the trove if you were a pharmacist. You honestly wouldn't be able to distinguish two good players because it comes down to brain farts that cause death. That is true. Although there are a few, if you were paying really close attention, there are a few stylistic things. Um, you know, do they use the exact same keys? For their macros and stuff, do they use uh, the exact same? You know, uh, for example, you'll you'll see me typically. I guess food doesn't exist anymore, but back when it did, you would see me always put uh, food on the F key. You know, um, and there are certain mechanical things and game choices. I mean, if you watched me play a game and you watched Man Man play a game, there are a couple things, subtle differences, things that are that we do differently, things we value more or less. I don't think Man Man is quite so obsessed with Gozag as me, for example. Um, but yeah, I mean, you're at the top level view for sure. You're you're absolutely correct that uh, it does pretty much come down to did you make a mistake or did the RNG poop on you really really hard on D1? Do others value stat form as much as me? I, I doubt it. Feel free to ask Man Man or Dentist here. Finally, learn to say your name correctly, by the way. Hey, there's a ruined helmet here. I messed up. Yeah, I'm pretty much in the same boat, Man Man. Um, it depends on the character, though. I will not take the first good god I find um, if I'm a character that can, uh, that can kind of stomach the, the extra weight for Gozag, especially now that there's no food, man. It's wacky that they removed food and just kept Gozag largely the same. <laughs> really, really funny. Um, time to play my time to play my Gozag ghoul. <laughs> mm, it's the king. What's this AC like? It's okay. Hey, enjoy the acid clouds, bro. Now we're really in action with the evocations. How how to buff Gozag? Why would you want to buff Gozag? Oh, you mean that that was a buff to Gozag, yeah. 
first decent god was what killed your tourney streak. Also, Rue. Yeah, um, we actually found a Rue altar on D3, and I I took it just to see what the first sack was. But I'm I'm slowly but surely slowly but surely I have come of the opinion I've come to the opinion that Rue is actually not a good streaker god. Um, I think that in the mid game and especially perhaps the late game. Uh, you, you end up, okay, you've got Apocalypse, fine, but you end up with something stupid like Scrollitis, um, built in, or like this, the worst version, the worst version of, uh, Scrollitis, or the Potionitis, or whatever you want to call it, or you end up with Artifice gone, or, or you end up without a hand, and it's ultimately just, like, shit. Um, it's funny because from a technical sp perspective, Rue is really, really, really strong, and certainly it just helps you out a lot, but... Um, I don't know. I, I really feel like I, I really feel like it's a problem in the late game more than people give it credit for. Oh, can somebody refresh my memory? I, I think I've asked this before, but I probably asked it in the Discord. Is there a reason for me to go different gods for the sake of the team? Or is it just like team-based, like if everybody wins with one of each god, then it doesn't matter? Because I may stop using Gozak so much if uh, if there's a legitimate reason to go for a different god. I mean, certainly you'll see me use other gods on weaker combos if I find them first, you know. Oh, hey, you guys were asking if I hated everything. There is one more change that I found that I like, which is that if you attack a plant one time, it starts to wither and die. Which is really helpful if you're like a weak as hell type uh, type character who has trouble killing plants. So you're not sitting there tabbing, or not tabbing, but pressing the key for a million years. Plus nine plate at plus five. That might be worth switching to. But not really, uh, because I want, I want my arc hold. 49 AC, 14 EV. Yeah, so we lose 5 EV for 2 AC. Hell no! If we didn't have the strangely shaped body, then perhaps... Perhaps that'd be worth it, but... Look at me just tabbing Eisel. Zero shits given. Alright. Alright, gentlemen. <laughs> We're going to Ice Blast a bit. <laughs> One category for championing and winning. But for team, it should be across the team. Okay, good. I can just McDonald's my way into victory then. Serving up 10 Big Macs, so to speak. Although, I mean, in fairness to myself, this is not an easy combo. Wanderer is one of those things that is uh, conditionally good. Usually good, but can just screw you. We had an okay Wanderer start. I don't know if I would say that the Wanderer start was good that we got, but it was it was okay. We had a quarter staff. Can't complain, really. Uh, we started with a shield, which we couldn't really use. We started with two points of stealth, which was pretty crucial. We started with a plus two leather armor, which was very, very good. Notably, we did not have a panic button. However, we started in a room that had a bunch of scrolls in it, which was pretty cool. Not really part of the Wanderer start, just some good luck. Let's take this slowly in case we get LCS. Okay, good. But yeah, basically, I just need to not make any uh, really foolish mistakes at this point. And we have the win game was pretty much in the bag by the time we cleared out that layer 2. About the time we found that plus 11 short sword, actually. And Kriya's mail coat really made this simpler. What the fuck am I doing? Getting attacked by three things at once like a real genius here. Oh, I know this vault. This is slaughter boxes. That's what it's called. Axe efficiency based. Sometimes you'll see me purposefully get surrounded for axe efficiency. That's 
not something you should usually do, but there are times. DCS attorney exists to make you play shit you wouldn't otherwise. It's true. Although I'm not even paying attention to the tournament, really. I'm just, uh, other than maybe doing some Nem Nemelex choices, I'm, uh, I'm just trying to make my streak longer. Because, um, I think that Elliptic is gunning for it. So I'm basically just avoiding combos that I, uh, avoiding combos that I've won in the, in the world record streak. Abandoned and mollify three different gods. Yeah, it is kind of cool. I have to admit, it is kind of cool that various banners are doing wacky stuff. No, you will not see that in the streak. Although you could safely do that on a streak, you would just have to pick the correct gods. Shit. Oh, we've been, we've been, uh, we've been shafted into, uh, Gozag's heaven. A giant pile of coins. Insufficiently wrathful. Uh, I didn't mean that. I actually meant gods like Trog you would want to avoid because they can paralyze you, which can lead to death regardless of anything. You would also want to avoid things like Vehumet because they can just LCS you for like 200, well, maybe not 200, but a whole lot of damage at the most inopportune time, insta-killing you. Um, hmm, who else would you want to avoid? You'd, you'd want to avoid most gods, but... Um, Gozag is relatively safe. The worst thing he's going to do is, is haste something that you really don't want to be hasted. Um, but you'll have a turn to deal with that by silencing or something. Uh, try to think of other gods that are safe. You'd probably be safe with uh, with the shining one, actually, if you if you wrathed him. Um, well, actually, do they not count even if you trigger the wrath by worshiping an evil god? I guess not. That's that's true, Dennis. But if you're fighting something, if you let your HP go below a hundred or whatever, I I think he can just insta kill you, or he could do that damage and then like. I, I guess I became very paranoid about this uh, the moment that I got paralyzed next to a pack of. Um, of, of caustic strikes by trog and then i was like hey, this could happen any time either a paralyze or big damage you know i think death menos is probably safe um maybe wujan i don't i don't know what wujan's wrath is redum Mule, perhaps Hello, Caustic Shrike. Let's duke it out. Thanos can drop Shadow Fiends on you. Uh, that's pretty brutal, I suppose. I think you get a... Uh, I think the way Wrath works, whenever something's summoned on top of you, you get a turn to act, though. So as long as you had a nice big stack of Blink or something, you're probably okay. Like, fundamentally, getting stuff summoned on me is less dangerous than me getting paralyzed randomly. Rest whenever you kill something. Well, okay. I'm just saying that, like, you could be at full HP, and if I take a full damage LCS and I happen to be duking it out with uh, Caustic Shrikes, that's a that's a bad day. I agree, there are ways that you can be super safe about it, but not getting hit by Varath during combat. Uh, yeah, I guess if you were, like, really, really, really careful, you could, you could engineer it to where that never happens. Um, I just think that... It's just too easy to make a mistake, you know? Uh, okay, what kind of ancient lich is this? We don't know. I'm going to try to kill him as fast as possible because I don't want to take a fat 144 damage now, do I? He doesn't seem to want to get acided. However, we found out that he is the joke lich, so we are just going to attack him. We 27 now, baby. It's not that bad, boss dear. Just play a strong combo that doesn't care what god he has. Uh, play like a troll or something. Wait until you're, wait until you're a certain level so that uh, piss, so that so that uh, Zom doesn't just kill you. 
Oh, this is so ugly. All right, fine. Condenser vein. We're looking at 60 damage from the Quicksilver Bolt and then more from, well, I guess it's just Lightning Bolt. Hey, Senshi, what's up, buddy? Let's Tremor Stones, clear this out a bit. Actually, forget this, we're gonna emulate. Okay. <laughs> Champion of Rue. How am I today? I am doing quite well. I'm a bit hungry, but uh, I am sticking with this stream until until the end, I think. Because we're so close to being done. However, I've been shafted, and it's a big pain in my ass. Ouch. Yeah, that's just an atheist win. That's not really that hard. Uh, again, if you just play a strong species. It certainly takes a big chunk of power away from you, but... If you're like a MiFi or something, you should be able to win the game without a god. Frankly, I'd rather play a MiFi with no god than to play a demigod, which goes to show exactly how bad demigods are. <laughs> or perhaps how good Minotaurs are. Draconian run. Draconians are secretly a difficult species, in my opinion. So I wouldn't feel too bad about losing one in Zot. But yeah, I mean, the thing about Zot is, like, unless you're just hilariously careful, um, it can make you lose the game regardless of anything. I mean, you just... There's just... It's very, very easy to make a bad mistake in there, is all I'm saying. Speaking of bad mistakes, I don't like flayed ghosts. I really wish he would come over and just hang out next to me. Okay. I found a second use for Potion of Attraction, even though it's insane that I'm using this in depths. Yeah, you can blink in Zot now, it's just really kind of silly if you think about it. The one thing, the one non-RNG thing that was keeping Zot difficult uh, is now gone. Um, so now the only the only truly terrifying power in Zot is uh, Clown Pies, which is just bad design, man. Enchant armor can be dropped. Let's not pick that up again until we need it, which we probably won't. I think there are some gloves for sale, by the way, uh, that could be like strength or dex or something, but I'm just going to keep the, the gauntlets of archery. It'll help uh, if I decide to net anybody, I suppose. Please don't mutate me. Okay, we're good. Is this a Zot Trap Vault? No, this is just a bunch of dudes. Let's clear out the floor. And then we'll... Well, I should say floors, plural. Because we got shafted out of slaughter boxes. Two floors, not one. Hello, Mr. Flayed Ghost. Trying to ruin my day. And failing, thankfully. Hey, look at this axe optimization.
Okie dokie. Uh, yeah, that's the floor. And we have acquirement again. Uh, we have a helmet which will give us less AC, but will give us our core, freeing us up to use a different cloak. Um, the cloak we're currently using, I believe... Actually, let's press escape. Yeah, the cloak has our core, but that'll create kind of a cascade of things that can happen with our equipment. Um, so the R core goes away. Then we could wear the RC cloak instead. And then we could get rid of Kriya's male coat if I wanted to. But why would I do that? Just to get the plate armor? Eh, no. So I think we just take the manual of dodging. The amulet is super duper cute, and if I didn't have four wins, I would uh, certainly consider. Anyway, it's hard to say no to manuals of defenses, you know? It's our third Boris. Not any stronger the second or third time. You would think he would uh, leave the dungeon after getting crushed so many times. Okay, that's uh, some shit in here. I'm not going to bother to get the... Uh, I'm not going to waste my time getting the... Uh, Wait a minute. I said I'm not going to waste my time getting the, uh, the Horn of Gary on, is what I was trying to say, but did I just see... What the fuck is going on? The floating eye turns its gaze towards you through the translucent wall? Since when is that possible? So is he charged up? If so, I can't go in. There he is. Hey, dickhead. Fire blocked by a translucent stone wall. It doesn't say he's charged up. I guess that... I guess that string doesn't necessarily mean he's charging, it just means he's noticed you. That's really weird. Alright, we're gonna read Telly before we go in. We're gonna go in. Hm. Uh. Hm. Never mind, I didn't need to read Telly. Let's go in. And just fight. Roka's in here. What's up, bro? Just have to watch out for the... the guy. Uh, actually, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and condense her vein just to clean this up a bit. So I can have a nice place to run. I want to be able to run back up in there if need be. The fact that uh, this gentleman is here trying to... Uh, Potentially come up and LCS me is just no good. Uh, let's go ahead and emulate so everything dies. I'm gonna suck down a resistance actually. Okay. Force Lance is pretty spooky. Solid damage along with Roka here. Um, what to do? I would like to not be here anymore. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm just going to use another Trimmer Stone real quick. The two explosions and the Trimmer Stone might kill the Lich. I doubt it, but it could happen. No, he's barely even hurt. <laughs> Hasn't noticed you. My whole, my whole dastardly scheme to clear a path so I could walk around the corner has failed utterly. Huge damage possible. Let's walk up. Let's walk up. Let's walk up. Is there not an exit here? I thought there was an exit here. Okay, this is less hideous. Almost want to read silence just because of the raw amount of damage that's possible from the force lance. Has file not shown up? Oh man, file actually showed up. Not that we can drown liches, but 
Just occurred to me that we never picked that up. Please show up in the right spot, and you did, based. Acid. Your ancient lich shimmers and vanishes. Okay. I'm going to keep using acid. This guy is very resistant to stuff. But not acid. Good. He's done. The really spooky stuff is gone outside of the paralyzed bro. Let's not pick things up and uh, try to wear them just yet. I should probably be able to just fling flame at this dude and kill him. Dead. Whoa, what a cool ring. We don't need it, but what a cool ring anyway. I guess I'll take it as a as a swap for orbs of fire. Transparent bond. Bro, excuse me, transparent bronze amulet. Oh, whoops. Let's identify that. As a souvenir? No, 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 no. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool, I guess. No, it's uh, you. You want to ideally have more than one RF versus orbs of fire, if possible. And I don't need our poise all the time. I'm just wearing that as a convenience because I don't want to get omega uh, poison arrowed or something, you know. Okay, let's pick up the file, uh, something I should have done a little while ago. Being able to silence people at range uh, is pretty cool, even if you can't do it to liches. I do not want to go to pandemonium, that's not correct. Can I tab this and win? Probably. He shoved me off the staircase, though. What a meanie. Tab, tab. I think, I think I'll probably dive Zot. It's not optimal, and I shouldn't do it, but I would like to finish this game, and I think this character is strong enough, and I have 10 scrolls of blinking, so if I lose in Zot, then that would be just incredible, wouldn't it? Or on the orb run, for that matter. And surveying all this fine stuff. Didn't get didn't get corroded, so I don't care too much about Juggy. We probably just win. Juggy certainly went toe to toe with me for a while, though. My plus nine Vorpal Broadax is uh, it's not got the damage output for some reason. Did they reduce the base damage of the Broadax? I don't I don't actually remember if it was thirteen or fifteen. 13 now. Okay, we gotta take this out. And then Ice Blast. Okay. Don't, don't want to get paralyzed. I could do like 10 floors of a ziggurat if I was feeling like the character needed help, but I, I really feel like it's this, this character just wins. They kept the base damage, but increased the base delay. Okay. Yeah, I thought that's all they did. I thought they just increased the training required. Which is like a, a, a hilarious sort of non-nerf, you know. Um, a lot of manuals this game. All this stuff and then uh, the dodging that I acquired and then the uh, evocations that I acquired before. Pretty cool stuff. But yeah, like I said, normally I would have picked up Horn of Garyon. Uh, I'm just not going to bother. There's a lot of lazy bullshit that I can do. You suck cock, he says. That's very clever. Why do I suck cock? I 
don't, I don't think I do that, but uh, maybe that happened when I wasn't paying attention somehow. Uh. <laughs> Based. <laughs> Who among us hasn't? I don't know. I don't even know what jokes I'm allowed to make on Twitch. Should probably just shut up. It's a very nice uh, use of your channel points there, Ditchard. Could have taken a lot of damage from that Reaver, so we uh, tried to use some resources to make sure he died quickly. I've moved here to sort of block them from stepping on this uh, trap, but I was, uh, the thing that I didn't want to happen just happened, which is that, uh, they shoved me. Uh, I'm in a bad, I'm in a bad spot here. We could just sort of get paralyzed and probably not die, but it would not be a fun time. So I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to enslave at 70% and succeed. And he decides to move like that, which is just a big... Annoyance. We'll kill everything on the left side so that uh, it doesn't move out of the way onto that Zot trap. God damn it, it happened! And I'm paralyzed. But not dead. I would have blinked out of this, by the way, if there was anything around that would kill me while I'm paralyzed. But see, see, I'm not crazy. You gotta be careful. That has gotta be the thing that you assume will happen. That you will get paralyzed by the old Zot trap. I'm sure sometimes when, when uh, people watch these streams, they're like, man, he's way too careful. But I assure you, if it can happen, it will eventually happen. If there had been like a lich or something there on the screen, well, I would have blinked away, but if there had been and I had been paralyzed, that's just like a bunch of LCSs potentially. I don't care how many defenses you have. LCS will cut right through it. It's Boris number four. Uh, I'm just going to drink flight and walk over and into this man's whole career. Just kidding, he'll be back. He had a demon blade this time. So we'll full we'll full clear depths, but I'll start diving in Zot just to save time. Tournament cat category for the most Boris is killed in one game. That's pretty cool. I like that. Ship it. So am I officially making it big on Twitch when people roll in and say you suck cock? Just randomly? Does that... Am I famous yet? <laughs> is, that the, is that the standard? <laughs> Oh my god, how embarrassing. A typo. Cold fingers, I guess. <laughs> is this what fame tastes like? No, this is what cock tastes like. Apparently, according to that guy. This. That's minus cast. Not that I care too much. Just not as good of armor. Kriya's mail code is so cute because it's like, it's a plus seven ring mail, which you wouldn't think would take you that far, but truthfully, it's amazing. I mean, look at me, I've got 43 AC. Probably Kriya's mail coat is among the best armors possible for somebody who has the strangely shaped body mutation because you're getting the plus seven out of it. And you don't care about the low base armor because you're going to have low base armor no matter what with that mutation. Um, I've got the barding to bail me out a bit. We just end up with good good defenses, even though it's a ring mount. It's really cool. Really cool. Hmm. I can 
condenser. Ooh, if they blink me into that, that would suck, but very, very good cloud. Um, I really shouldn't be fighting next to a Zot Trap here due to the blink guys, but he's going to die in the clouds, so that's okay. Wow, he... I guess I'm really lucky. I gotta be more careful. This is really stupid. If I had gotten paralyzed here, we could have gotten Crystal Speared and then just killed. I'm just being way too reckless for, for a streak game. So from now on, we're gonna move away if, uh, if we see something that might jump onto the Zot Trap. I thought for sure he wouldn't do it. But, uh, he sure did. Magic mapping. Okay. The correct place to go is off to the east. Moths do what they want. I need a spray bottle to, to teach this moth good and bad behavior. I don't want to be miasmed. Does rot not exist anymore, I wonder? Like, not even just for ghouls, but for everybody? Kind of takes a bit of the bite out of miasma, although the slow is still pretty impressively dangerous. Okay. Do I want to deal with being constricted while fighting a juggernaut? Probably not. Probably not. Let's, uh... We have ten potions of might? Yes, I'll drink one. Holy shit. I should probably drink haste too, but I think we'll be okay with just might. Brutalizing this stuff. I probably didn't even need to use the might, but this, this just makes my life easier. Oh, god. Okay. This clown looks very snide to me. Okay. Actually, is there a sack of spiders available? Just kidding! Those dickheads took it out of the game. I just remembered. Less reason to take evocations to 27 now. Uh... Yeah, no reason to take out a 27 really anymore. Just train defenses. We must make the game more boring. More boring, more streamlined. Very important. Exclude off these staircases. We definitely would like to murder all of these clowns. Getting into uh, an orb run with these guys would be highly unpleasant. Closest downstairs is right here. Oh, that was a Zot Trap. That's okay, he was by himself. Down to Zot 4, this one I will fully clear. There are certain corners I will not cut. The the holy Zot 4. <laughs> you just gotta, you gotta full clear it, man. You wanna have multiple ways down and safe ways back up, so to speak. Man, getting, getting drained really heavily is going to be horrid now, now that it takes away max HP. That's probably how my streak's going to end, because I sometimes will let myself get drained really, really, really heavily. Accidentally, just by tabbing into something. It's just one of those things I'm going to have to internalize as like a top tier level threat. not to say that it wasn't powerful before, but now, I mean, if there's no limit to it, oh god. Let me just walk around with max 20 HP, you know? Oh, 
not sure if they thought that one through or not. I suppose RN Plus is now more valuable. That might be a good thing, actually. You could pretty much go most of the game with no RN and not care too much. Wow, look at all those defenses. 284 HP. The Wrestler. A legendary troll berserker of Trog. We're going to let him rest in, you know, requisite in pace over there. I'm sure I butchered that. Uh, all right, let's go down. Magic map. All right, moment of truth and judgment. Will I be teleported into the lungs? I'm slow. That's okay. I knew that could happen. I probably should have hexed the uh, the corn cob man, but we're just really good in melee, so it's kind of a Thing I don't need to do. But I have so much. Uh, I have 27 paralysis and 11 enslaved, so it is a bit silly, I guess, that I didn't do it. Just not following best practice. It's not something that would get me killed, though, especially since I can blink away whenever I want to, apparently. Oh my god. The joke zot. Oh no, there's a problem. I'm just gonna blink away, bro. It's funny because I probably complained about uh, the chain, the orb, orb effect when it first got put in, but time really made a difference on that one where my opinion changed, and uh, now it's like it just feels like an integral part of making the 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 branch uh, difficult. Okay, another dumb change. Um, net traps don't go away now. So we have a double trapped lung. Also, you can't get nets out of them. See if I blink out of it, no net. Look at that tomfoolery. Let's uh, swap RF on. That's right. Hey, Wesley, thanks for coming to the stream, man. I'm going to drink a haste just to be safe. I'll drink a mite. Why not? I have a billion. What is up with Gozag, man? It feels like every time I play Gozag, I end up with a million potions. I guess it's probably from being able to buy everything in distilleries and being able to make my own distilleries. Three nets. Who needs to bribe, man? <laughs> Who needs to bribe? <laughs> I probably should have done that. Uh, I suppose I still could. I guess I just am on autopilot because we're doing so well. Um, how much money do we have? Yeah, I'll go ahead and bribe. Thanks for the reminder. Uh-oh, streak by committee. Oh no, streak doesn't count anymore. I was going to just bribe on the way up. Streak already didn't count because politics. Ah, yes, yes. Yes. Bribe already running out because of the orbs of fire. I find it funny that even though I'm normally terrified of uh, clown pies, like, because of the bribe, we can just stroll through here. Shit. Uh, it's fog time. DCSS works on five-year-old rules, which means that if I can't see the Zot Trap, it can't hurt me. Peekaboo. Why did there have to be a Zot Trap right there? It's not like a problem, it's just going to slow me down a little bit here. That's how it works IRL. Mm, I see. I didn't know that. All 
All right, let's do something horribly suboptimal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, grab. I should not have gotten the orb. You know why? Because I could have gotten dumped into the lung that I hadn't cleared yet. Whatever. Uh, we're going to bribe this branch again so that we can simply ignore orb run spawns. This is not the staircase I wanted. I forgot to forgot to choose the correct. I forgot to exclude the the staircases that I didn't want. That's okay though. This guy's faster than me, so I have to duke it out with him. Hello. Blow him away with acid. Try not to get tormented. There's some enemies you just have to you have to do your damage and take your lumps against if they show up in the right location, essentially. Don't get to use fear much on the orb run. Since I didn't clear, that's a good place for it. Brad branch. Mm, that's a Deva. We can just kill it with acid. I guess that's a reason to take uh, Evocation to 27 still. Just give me maximum damage. Give me like 400 acid damage. Hey, you know what? I never put on my poison resistance again. We could have taken a good chunk of damage there. Winning with Kriya's male coat feels good, by the way. Just a really thematic item. That's one of those items where the gimmick is, it feels less dumb, you know? Just regardless of anything, it's a nice piece of equipment, you know? It creates interesting tactical situations where you might not otherwise want to use a... Uh, you might not otherwise want to use a healing thing, but suddenly it's viable. F -f poop. Uh, that is okay. Paralyze LCS guy. That's holy word. Wait a minute. What am I doing? Oh no. I have to use one of my 10 blink scrolls. Oh my god. What a joke the orb run is these days. Ditchard. Uh, yeah, it's not going to be a one-off. I am going to be streaming a little bit more throughout the tournament, probably about nine more games. Um, but yeah, no, I appreciate that, dude. Give me a follow if you haven't yet. I think you might have already done that earlier. Because um, I do I do stream DCSS once in a while, and I still I stream Forks, you know. Even after the tournament is over, I'll be streaming Forks, like B-Crawl, stuff, like, stuff that I can recommend that's run by people who are a little bit, um, you know, less horrid than the uh, mainline devs. Uh, but yeah, GG guys, thank you all for coming to the stream and watching my first win of the .26 tournament. A clean 100,000 turns, not uh, not long at all. <laughs> um, yeah, we are... Uh, was that? That was 55, right? Yeah, here we are on the non-tournament account. 55 wins in a row. Pretty sweet. Alrighty. Hope you guys enjoyed. That's going to be it. Until next time, I am signing out. Did you know that there are many ways that you can help support this channel? Read about them on rosecrypto.com support. At Rose Crypto, you can learn all about cool things like the Brave web browser, Bitcoin, and other cryptocurrencies. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.